So why am I here today? I'm going to share with you something that is uh, different uh, about uh, TCR answering technique itself. So this has been always a question uh, being asked by students, right? What or even parents, they ask what exactly is TCR answering technique, right? When they join us in our tuition. So TCR, the T stands for topics. Now you know that there are many topics in science and it's very content heavy. And that's where we actually wanted to narrow down to the topics that they know it is. Whether is it be it energy, be it forces, right? Be it um, uh, living together, right? So when you narrow it down, then we, the question that we're going to ask ourselves is that what is the test focus? What are the science concept is being tested in that topic based on the question given? And at the same time for the C, we are trying to look for clues that is in the question, right? And when we get the clues, we are able to actually try to link it to the concept. And from the concept, we apply what we have learned from the class, right? And that is where we get our result and relate back to answering the question itself. So, so why is un, 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 the TCR answering technique important? Because um, based on the survey that we have actually um, um, talk to the teachers, talk to the other uh, parents, right? So these are some of the common mistakes uh, made by students. And TCR answering technique is able to help tackling that. Now let's look at some of the uh, common mistakes actually made by the students, such as not able to link back to the question itself, actually fails to read the question carefully and identify the wrong concept and using the incorrect keywords. These are some of the common mistakes made by the students in science. When we look at the TCR answering technique itself, all right, the first part here, having the topic, uh, looking for, for clues, actually help to reduce uh, chances of applying the wrong concept. It also prevents them from not reading the question carefully. Okay. While the second part of it, concept application and results, what we do is that we, from here, concept application, you must use the correct keywords when you apply the concept, right? And linking it back to the con uh, having the right keywords to link to the concept and apply it to the questions that we are answering. Now, not only that, um, this is always linking back to the question and link back to the results itself, right? Okay, that's the R. So we've been shared quite a bit. Why not let's try to give a TCR a try? Okay, so in this question, Jacob and James actually carry on an experiment to investigate the effect of exercise on their breathing rate. They measured their breathing rate before the exercise, then they ran for 20 minutes. They measured their breathing rate immediately after the run, and again, two minutes for 10 minutes. They recorded their breathing rate before and after the exercising in the table below. As you can see, okay, this is the table given and explain why the boy's breathing rate increased when exercising. Now, a lot of times um, we want to look out for clues in the question, okay? Um, the question that I'm gonna ask myself is that, hey, actually there's a word that keep on coming out very often. And that's where I look out for the clue. So if you can look at it, um, the word exercise came out very often, and that is a clue I'm looking for. When we know that exercise, we say that when you exercise, you need more, energy, right? And you need more energy. And that is where we say that we need more oxygen and digested food, all right? At the same time, let's take a look at the table, right? As you can see, it decreased in the breathing rate, right? Okay? So from here, zero minutes, two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, the breathing rate actually decreases, right? That is what we analyze from the table, all right? So let's use the TCR answering technique. The topic that we are looking at is human respiratory system. Okay, the test topic, test focus is about saying that, hey, more oxygen needed to release more energy. And we actually can look out from the text itself, right? Okay, when exercising, that's the, where the clue, right? When exercising, there's a clue we look out for. You need more energy. The application is that, when you exercise, you need more energy. Therefore, you need more oxygen to release more energy for higher rate of respiration. And we link back to answering the question. We say that breathing rate increases to take in more oxygen and to remove, re remove more carbon dioxide. Let's put what we have 
use the TCR answering technique into phrasing the question. So the answer will be, when boys were exercising, they needed more energy as the boys exercising, right? More oxygen was needed to release more energy for higher rate of respiration and to remove more oxygen. Now the keyword more is very important because we are comparing. Thus, their breathing rate increased to take in more oxygen to remove more carbon dioxide. Okay, so we answer back to the question. Okay, now let's take a look at another question. Yemi actually carried out an experiment on the stem of a plant as shown below. She observed that only the leaf at the position Y died after two days. Now, in the diagram below, she had the part of the stem that carry water. Now, there is a concept that we learned about YFO, right? So we underline, we say that plant Y died after two days, right? And then we say that YFO, water inside, food outside. So carries water. So it's the water, it's the inside one, right? Now, over here, we can say because uh, we can indicate that here, the water uh, carrying tube is being removed. The part B is the food carrying tube being removed. Food in, uh, water inside, food outside. Then let's take a look at here. How do we apply the TCR answering technique? Basically, the topic that we are going to narrow down will be plant transport system. And the tested focus is that we must know the position of the water carrying tube and the food carrying tube. Water inside, food outside, Y4. The diagram itself shows it to us, right? The two centimeter ring is removed from the stem. Let's put it down into the clue, okay? Then we link it back to the concept, water carrying tube being removed and water could not be transported to the leaf at Y to make food. Now, if that is the case, therefore, the leaf at Y will wither and die. Now, let's put everything together, and that is our answer. The water carrying tube has been removed together with the two centimeter ring. Therefore, water cannot be transported to the leaf at Y to make food, causing the leaves at Y to wither and die. Hope you have understand through using the TCR answering technique. Now, lastly, I just want to wish all of you all to have to give your uh, you know a statement that the first mile is an obligation, the extra mile is an opportunity. A lot of students might say that hey, applying TCR to answering technique might be challenging and it's a long way. But I just want to encourage you that the first mile in just answering is an obligation, but going an extra mile and applying a technique to get a AL1. It's an opportunity for you to score well, right? And do well and get your AR1. We really appreciate if you can click here to subscribe to our channel and click here to watch other videos. See you soon.